Shalom. Shalom. Today we're starting a new seminar. The biblical feasts of Israel as key points in the relationship of God and man. Today, this is an introductory lesson. In the beginning of the lesson, I would like to ask you a question. Is this topic very important? And if so, then why? In order to answer that question, I would like to give you an example from the everyday life or relationship between people. If two people don't know each other very well, they don't have any relationship. If they have a very surface knowing each other, then their relationship will be on the surface level. But when their relationship gets deeper, their, their, their knowing each other gets deeper, their relationship will go deeper also. Maybe the, the best example of the relationship is between a relationship between a husband and wife. Husband has a wife and wife that has a husband. Before they met each other, before they met each other, and got to know each other, the relationship was on a basic level. After they met each other, their relationship starts developing. At first, it's a basic relationship, then it gets deeper. At a certain stage, their relationship can reach the, the ideal relationship. The Lord gives us this example from the everyday life. In order for us to understand how to build our relationship with Him, with God. A person who doesn't know God, doesn't have any relationship with God. If a person comes to God and when he starts seeking Him, the Lord reveals Himself to him, then the surface relationship starts building up. This relationship can get deeper and reach its heights. In the Garden of Eden, God and man had had a perfect relationship. But as a result of the actions of the devil and the wrong choices of man, these relationships got broken and violated and become worse. The person chose to believe the lies of the enemy, to follow the wrong motivations, to violate God's uh, orders, to disobey God, to eat the forbidden fruit that God had told him not to eat. As a result of that, the relationship with God was broken and it, and it led the man to eternal death. But God didn't leave it this way. God showed His way of salvation of man and restoration of this relationship with Him. God the Father sent His Son, Yeshua the Messiah, in order to show God's mercy and truth. Yeshua the Messiah died on the cross for our sins. He brought the redeeming sacrifice. Yeshua the Messiah rose on the third day. It all happened in order, first of all, in order to save us as a humankind, but also for us to build a relationship with God. It's of course understood, if a person does not to build his relationship with God, he won't have any relationship. It needs to be a mutual uh, agreement. God wants it and He has shown us the way. Now this is our turn. But anyway, when we start going towards God and obeying God through Yeshua the Messiah, our relationship starts, starts from the very zero point, from our point of view. But if we keep following that way, these relationships will get deeper and wider and they can come to their fruition and completion. 
faction. When we talk about the biblical feasts of Israel, biblical feasts of Israel are like the key points, the milestones that show us which way to start a relationship with God, which way we can continue in our building relationship with God and which way we can reach the top, the fruition, completion of our relationship with God. So, in this way, we're going to mention these key points, these milestones. They're very concentrated. They're very and, and they're very, in a very short form, they're mentioned in Leviticus 23. The first milestone is Shabbat. The second milestone, the key, is Passover, Pesach. The third point, or key, is the Feast of Unleavened Bread, or Matzot. The fourth point, the key, is the Wave of the Sheaf Offering or in Hebrew, Tnufata Omer. The fifth point, or the key, is the Feast of Pentecost, or Shavuot in Hebrew. The sixth point, or key, is the Feast of Trumpets, in Hebrew, Hag Trot. The seventh point, or the key, is the Feast of Cleansing, or Yom Kippurim. And the final, the final, the eighth key is the Feast of Tabernacles or in Hebrew Sukkot. So, uh, these eight points have been given to us by God in order to start a relationship with Him, to develop them and to reach their perfect, our perfection in, in them. In our following lessons, we're going to talk in detail about each one of these keys or milestones. May the Lord bless you and me in this way.